So you guys definitely enjoyed the mathematically correct Shadow Phaedric build. So today I bring you another gift, the most mathematically correct Sapphire Phaedric build you can have for your favorite dragon. So in this video, I'll be teaming up again with the professor and expect a lot more videos from that format, from that genius, that we will help you optimize your pets to dish out the most damage and have the most utility possible. What is up guys, Meow are here back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So before I start this video, I want to say a big, big, big thank you for the 3,000 subscriber mark. I can't believe we've actually hit that milestone. Thank you guys so much. I would never have imagined to reach that milestone at all, especially just making videos for fun and for your helpfulness. So that out of the way, of course, you know, the journey's not yet over. The road to 10K is still going. So please... If you can, don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe, and of course, let's get this video started. So, <clears throat> yes, a, a couple of days ago, we had the mathematically correct Shadow Phaedric uh, go up, and it seems like a guys absolutely loved it. Personally, I loved it as well. I mean, the guy is an absolute genius, and he figured out the perfect build already so quickly, so we figured, why not as well prepare the perfect mathematically correct build for the Sapphire Fate Drake. So we have that build ready and up and running for your guys' pleasure. So that being said, let's just start by breaking down the build. And again, big shout out to the professor. The guy is a gem for the community. So big shout out to him. Give him some shout outs and give him, show him some love in the comments. The guy really deserves it. And I could never have imagined to make videos of this matter without him so big shout out to the professor let's get started so starting off the, the core build for the uh, sapphire fate drake will be as follows most of the builds will include those will include these core five with some adjustments going forward so the core skills are pain bloom force for plain bloom follow-up resonance and magic fortune making it so we want to amplify the damage of the sapphire phaedric itself versus augmenting our commander or the skill damage of our commanders so it goes pain bloom forceful pain bloom follow-up resonance and magic fortune to just dish out as much dps and damage as possible now afterwards for the sixth kill we can go towards two routes the two routes are as follows. One of them goes for split plane, split plane bloom, which I've been saying is probably the most OP of any three-star skill you can buy in the end of season shop. And personally, I am super excited to finally buy it because I actually want a season. Woo! Ding, 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 yay! Hoo -hoo. So I'm finally gonna buy the split plane bloom since it also just got a buff. So why not just get it you know it's so op and it's so good and it's going to be so useful i'll probably start working on other pets for next season as well but for now i really want to finish my sapphire phaedric so if you do not have split plane bloom you can always go for super follow-up in order to finish up builds for the follow-up uh, you see here there's the damage difference between having two targets versus augmenting super follow-up and getting an extra 21% damage versus here you get a flat out 50% because you're dealing even more damage in general. Right now, you can also try out with Elemental Harmony with the same build, but this is completely different as it removes Forceful Pain Bloom from the equation. It's just a build that augments your commanders more than anything else. So feel free to try it, but personally, I don't recommend it that much because the other builds are just that much better. So I'm going to be skipping the full build with Split Plane Bloom and Super Follow-Up. You can just, you know, pause the video, take a screenshot, or join the Discord, and you'll be able to access all this data and more by just, you know, pinging me or pinging the big man himself, the professor. The guy has been an absolute help for the community, and the Discord is thriving with his presence. So... <clears throat> Of course, you know, you can always drop drop by. The link is in the description. Come down, come by and say hello. Now, the perfect split plume build that you should 
go for, or rather not always go for, but it will benefit you a lot and you'll be seeing a lot of damage from your pet goes as follows. It goes Plain Bloom, Forceful Plain Bloom, Follow Up, Resonance, Magic Fortune, Split Plain Bloom, Super Follow Up, and Magic Spirits, totaling your damage, but this is not even a full three star set. This is just differences between, you know, one star, two star, one star, two star, three star, three star, and then one star totaling for almost 2,000 damage split across four targets evenly, which is pretty humongous. I mean, it's pretty much you have another Lilia in your march. You're running a mage march with three commanders and just two dishing out AoE. And of course, you got to keep in mind the split plume or the... Or, yeah, the split plane bloom doesn't have diminishing returns or deals diffuse damage. It deals the full damage to four targets, so you're not missing out on any benefits. There's also the crit mage build. If you want to try it out and you want to augment your march flat out, you gain the following. You gain 2.5% hero crit rate, you gain plus 10% percent almost 11 percent hero crit skill damage which is humongous and of course interruption now is actually gaining much more value since people are starting to refine their builds so lowering the accuracy of every single thing that other people build is actually pretty beneficial on the long run because you are just basically messing with their builds and messing with their mathematically or not I want to say correct unless they're copying the builds we're saying, but you're messing up with their flow pretty much. So it's pretty underrated right now. Personally, I absolutely hated it. But since the guy explained how it works and everything, I'm actually starting to fall in love with it. And I might just incorporate it in my builds going forward. But the mage crit build goes as follows. It goes plain bloom, magic pulse, lights guidance, interruption, follow up. Magic Fortune, Resonance, and then Magic Spirits, yeah, netting you this total of stats, which is pretty huge, all things considered, especially it's just from a pet. So do keep in mind, try it out, let me know how it feels in the comments down below. Now, there are some notes here. There is, at a full build, the three-star follow-up actually deals comparable damage to a three-star split plane bloom, about 82% as much if you can get a split plane bloom super follow up is an excellent alternative. You need at least plus 35 spirit to hit a fourth target, which is the absolute maximum you can get, I believe, unless that has changed since the buff. I'm not entirely sure, and I'm not the best with numbers, so I trust the guy for the numbers he presents. In every circumstance, Elementor Harmony is not that good, so do keep in mind Elementor Harmony might be a little bait. Elemental Spirits is much better, so if you can, don't really use Elemental Harmony in any of your builds, because let me just you know double check in case we didn't try it. There is the build here with Elemental Harmony, and it does far less damage than everything else on this list. So try to avoid it if you can. Ruthless follow-up also gives extremely low benefits, so I wouldn't really take it. And sadly, Bolt from the Blue, while as good as it is, it takes up an intelligence slot and, you know, I said it before, the mage pet builds suffer from success because most of their OP stuff is locked behind intelligence. So it's really difficult to incorporate much more builds in general than having far more flexibility despite having the illusion of choice. So let me know what you guys think about these builds in the comments down below. Again, I want to remind you, the link is in the description for the Discord in case you want to come by, say hello, meet meet us, have a chat, whatever, if you want to get account coached and so on and so forth, feel free as well to check out the Discord, that all the tools will be there for you. And on that note, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. The road for, for 10 key subs is on the way. We are 30% there. Soon we'll be there before we know it. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Meow, meow.